Hey, what's up, YouTube? We're back today, and we're going to create another video. Um, I had a lot of people ask me about Metasploit. So, um, a lot of people want to know, how do you generate a Windows backdoor in Metasploit? And it's pretty easy, so we're going to do a couple things. We're going to use MSF Venom to create the payload, the reverse TCP connection that will connect back to our Metasploit listener. Um, and then we're going to set up the listener and Metasploit. So it can listen for that connection. So um, first thing we need to do is just go ahead and open up um, Startup Kali or um, Startup Metasploit. So here I have my Kali box. I'm going to start a command line, open up a terminal, and I'm going to type in MSF console. We'll give that a couple of seconds to load up and start the Metasploit framework for us. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just copy a command over, and, and then I'll explain the command and what it means. And like I said, so first we're going to create the payload and then you have to transfer that payload over to your other to your Windows machine and execute it there. All right, here's the first command, so the msf venom command that's going to create that payload. So you'll type in msf venom dash p, you'll have windows interpreter reverse tcp, that's that's the um that's the connection we want. And then here where we have our L host, the L host is the listener host. That's going to be the IP of your Kali machine. So whatever your IP address is, um, you would put that there. And then whenever you set up this, um, whenever we create this, um, you know, this um, backdoor, this executable file, we need to specify a port that we want it to connect back to our Metasploit also. So you can choose anything. I just put 4443. I'm here for the port, and then dash f, and we want the the type, file type to be an executable exe file, and then we're going to say dash o, and that's the output, and I'm going to save it onto my desktop, and since I've already done this a couple of times, I'm just going to give it a different name, hit enter. This will take just a couple minutes, so it's going to create an executable file that you'll transfer over to the Windows machine that you want to connect back to your Metasploit. So let's let this generate this file and then I've already copied it over to my Windows machine for this video but you'll see it'll save it wherever you tell it to save the file it'll save the file for you and as you can see on my desktop I have a new file all right so this we've created the payload this will get transferred over to your Windows machine but before we do that we need to set it we need to tell Metasploit to listen for the connection so what we're going to do is we're going to tell Metasploit to use a handler and we're going to configure the payload. All right, so we're going to say use exploit multi handler, and then we're going to set the payload type to um, the Windows interpreter reverse TCP, like so. And then from here, you can do show options. All right, and you need to set the L host and the L port because we need to tell interpreter uh, or Metasploit um, where we're listening for this connection. So we're going to do set l host and then you're going to put your ip address of your Kali machine where your metasploit's installed like so and then remember the port that you set when you created the the payload with ms venom you remember you gotta add that port back here and then now we type in show options you'll see everything all the requirements are filled we got the l host the l port all that's done so now you just type in exploit and now Metasploit is listening for a reverse TCP connection from your Windows machine that you're going to transfer your, your file that you created with MS Venom. You're going to transfer it to that Windows host. And then Metasploit is ready and listening. All right, so let me pull up my Windows machine. All right, so here's my Windows virtual machine. And um, here's the file. So I'm going to double click on it. And as you can see, we have a session. What the session means is there is a connection from your Windows backdoor to Meterpreter. And if you do, like, we can do a ls and just see what files. Uh, let's see, look at the print pwd. All right, we're on the desktop. We do a ls again. All right, we can see it looks like we're in a Windows machine. If you type in sys info, it'll tell you. All right, the computer is name is Windows 11. OS Windows 10. I thought I had installed Windows 11, but maybe not. 
Um, and you can see a little bit more about the Windows machine, but we're definitely connected to a Windows computer. So that is how you generate a Windows backdoor in, with a Metasploit framework. All right, so if you like the video, if you will, please hit the subscribe button and I'll create you guys some new videos. All right, thanks.